Ah, sustainability of your hedgerow. Let's give that one a thought. I've got a busy highway in front of my house. When I bought the yard years ago, it was in full view, a few dead apple trees. Well, I immediately started planting with whatever I could scrounge from the dump at the end of the day. And I've dug up young hemlocks and spruces over the years, condensing, filling, widening my hedgerow. Let's flip around and have a look at the whole thing. All right. I live on a corner lot. Can't really see the road anymore. But my neighbor, who is also an arborist, he tried to burst my balloon saying, well, these trees, this hedge, it's unsustainable. And that hit me to the core. Unsustainable. Well, I am sustaining it. But I had to think, I've been thinking that comment over. The trees, yes, they get taller. I'm not actually trying to keep it like a hedge by topping them and hacking them to a certain height. I haven't topped them at all. Just a little bit of tip pruning to uh, encourage them to thicken. But what does happen is the lower limbs get shaded, the trees mature, the tops do better than the bases, the lower limbs die off. So what I'm doing here today is something I've done before. I'm underplanting. I'm underplanting the entire row with shrubs to cover the base where we're losing the limbs. Okay? So let me flip this around. I've got a whole variety of things. There's no design. I've got a Van Hoot Spirea there, a couple of Jap Andromedas, Spirea. I'm starting to figure out that evergreens are best because come winter, it really opens up the gaps. Today, I've got a free planting. I've made myself some free compost from my debris pile. Two Japanese Andromeda cuttings, which I took from my rear lot last year as rooted cuttings, and I grew them through the summer, fertilized them. Look at that, they're both gonna bloom next year. Anyway, so here I've got this badly diseased blue spruce which is definitely going to lose its lower limbs eventually so to the left and to the right today I'm going to plant these two Japanese Andromedas they grow up hide that lower air and it's one more step in completing this barrier from the highway sound barrier and visual barrier. I love using the free materials. My own compost, shrubs produced from the own yard. So once again, here's my buffer. I've got flowers, hydrangeas, mock orange, and a real hodgepodge, New York Boulevard, false cypress, hemlocks, white spruce, red spruce, Colorado blue spruce, which you know we don't want to plant anymore because of that. How about the white fir also getting needle cast? It was gorgeous, but <clears throat> that's declining. It's okay. Things come and go. I've even got that privet hedge which is just a token from my youth I, I grew because I enjoyed trimming hours with my dad. 
I got those as a packet of 50 seedlings years ago, and now it's a full hedge. I got rhododendrons, all kinds of things. Well, I enjoy it. And because it is a mixed bag, there's a mix of flowering things throughout the spring, summer, winter color. Gardening is a joy, isn't it? Anyway, I'm going to get to digging here, and I hope you, uh, some people find the comments helpful, but underplant your hedgerows to cover that fading bottom so that you have a large intact wall to shade out what you don't want to see. Okay, thanks for watching. Good luck.